this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Lee Bear. Good morning, Lee Bear. We have another exciting and long episode for us today. <laughs> I'm sure lots of you have just come from my 300th episode, uh, where I went and showed you around all of my house and my shops and all of those things. And uh, now we are going to go and do the even more fun thing of going around the Funland and seeing all the rides. And I'm sure we're going to be tempted uh, to ride one or two of them <laughs> as well. So this is basically going to be a game of looking at games and playing games. Game, so it should be a uh, jolly good fun. But of course, uh, we're going to begin as we always do, and that is by eating my breakfast. And my breakfast is, as always, going to be a cake. Ah, absolutely delicious. And you can have an egg because I don't want to have to carry it around all video. There we go. Here's your challenge, Lee Bear. Your challenge is to look after the egg for the entire video. Keep it safe in your pocket and don't let it get any cracks. That's your, your challenge for the, the video. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go now and uh, head over to the uh, the love garden uh, to announce who it is that I'm going to be adding to it on this uh, special episode 301 occasion. It doesn't sound uh, as special as the 300th episode, but it's, it's basically like one big long episode. But I know there is no way people would sit through almost two hours of me speaking so <laughs> I know about 50 minutes is pushing it uh, but yeah two hours is just too much to ask for someone to, to listen to me speaking <laughs> anyway uh, to the love garden I am adding Alison Scott and that's because she had probably the best Minecraft themed birthday party ever just look at some of these pictures look at all of the decorations and the food and everything and the best part is these these absolutely huge models of me and Lee Bear they look absolutely fantastic as you also had a love garden you can see there's a creeper there as well and all of her presents look like minecraft blocks it must have been the best day ever so i wanted to say uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, sending me the uh, the pictures allison i hope you had a great birthday and welcome to my love garden right then lee we are going to be very busy today so we should probably go and get set off straight to the the fun land and as soon as we're going to the fun land i thought it'd be the perfect opportunity uh, to take gregory jr with me so i won't be uh, stopping off at the uh, the dog house today we're going to go straight to the fun land and get started and I'm going to talk through every single mini game that I built and uh, yeah, play as many of them as we can. Uh, we obviously can't play all of them. I know a lot of you do want me to go play uh, through all of them, but it will just take way too long. And uh, because there's only me and Lee, uh, some of the games you need three or four or even more people. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be playing uh, as many of the ones that we can play quickly <laughs> and uh, the uh, the ones uh, that can be uh, uh, played uh, with just uh, two people. So uh, what I want to do actually in the future is uh, to start building more rides. When I started doing the fun land, uh, it was kind of supposed to be a theme park with full of uh, like roller coasters and things and uh, since then I kind of changed it where it's more mini games and I do love the mini games it's always a uh, good fun to play them uh, but I do want to build more things like roller coasters and rides uh, things that you can just go on by yourself and uh, are just good fun so make sure uh, you stay tuned because I'm going to be building a lot more uh, things like that in the future and actually I think the first thing to do is I'm going to climb up uh, to the top of this melon tree here and I'm going to have a little bit of a, a look over the uh, the rest of the the fun land I never really uh, go up anywhere high and uh, really admire the fun land and this is probably uh, the best uh, the best viewpoint uh, from this side uh, where you can go and uh, have a look over it all so this is uh, kind of what it looks like from above and uh, hi Lee Bear Lee Bear can you see me <laughs> Lee Bear took the uh, the uh, the long route he walked here and so this is a uh, quite a nice place where you can look over uh, the entire area and see it all and actually a good thing to start looking at would probably be this little house down here let's see if I can end a pearl from this tree onto the the balcony of that little house down there all oh, looks good looks good there we go perfect <laughs> and Lee Bear did it as well and uh, the reason we got this house here is because when I started building the fun land I would use this house uh, for us all to, to sleep in so you can see there's a whole load of beds and different uh, chests with uh, people's materials in and uh, we used to sleep in here and store all of our materials and things it's basically like a little bit of a, a home from home that's what uh, this little building here is for uh, just in case uh, any of you uh, ever wondered why this was here. Anyway, uh, I might as well start with the uh, the first thing which I uh, ever built in this area, and that is the golf course. Uh, this was uh, originally the only thing that was going to be here. Uh, before I had a fun land, I, I built a, a golf course. So uh, here are some golf balls here. I might as well go and grab one. I'll be white. Uh, Lee Bear, if you want to be green. And uh, let's go. We can pick one hole each, Lee Bear. We can pick one hole each to play. Uh, so which one do you want to do? So you can uh, pick carefully which ones you're going to go for you can see him there deciding there's the castle oh he's gone for cobblestone castle <laughs> this is actually probably one of the the toughest ones if you're really good 
uh, you can get it in with a hole in one, uh, but it's quite difficult because uh, you've got to time it so that the, the ball doesn't get stuck and did Lee make it a hole in one? It's so close. No, it is just about dangling over the edge. So the way it works is he now needs to stand where that ball uh, landed and then he gets uh, another throw and he should definitely uh, be able to get this one in and he did. There we go. So that was uh, two throws for Lee Bear. Uh, let's see if I can beat him and uh, get a, a hole in one. I want to make sure I'm standing on the, the ground and not the ice and I need to try and time it. I'm going to go and throw it now. Can I get it through? Oh, it went through. It went through, but does it go in the hole? And yes, it did. I was able to, to get a, a hole in one. <laughs> right, well, we are going to play one more hole and uh, I get to, to choose this one now because... um. Uh, because, uh, yeah, because uh, we can choose one each. And I'm going to go for the, the final hole, the most difficult one, the one which is called Hungry Stampy. And the aim of the game is you need to throw the, uh, the ball uh, into my mouth uh, to feed uh, Hungry Stampy. You can see me there <laughs> looking at that cake very hungry. So, Lee Bear, uh, do you want to go and uh, take it away? Are you going to use a cake? Okay, we can both use cakes for this one, seeing as we're feeding Hungry Stampy. And this one's really difficult uh, because if you throw it too far, it can fall into the, the water and get pushed all the way back there. And it looks like Lee Bear didn't throw it too far. He probably didn't throw it far enough. So Lieber, uh, you go and stand where that one ended and you need to throw it again and be really careful to not throw it too far. You do not want to get it into that water. I think that's okay. I think from there he might be able to jump and uh, get it onto the, the ice on the, the other side and he did. He fell in the water <laughs> but he was able to, to get the cake uh, right up to my mouth. So that's one, two, three throws so far. So now he needs to get it through my mouth and uh, the hole is actually, you can probably just about see it, yep, uh, just on the, the inside there. So he managed to, uh, to line it up nicely and so he should now hopefully uh, be able to, to get it in in his next throw and he did. Uh, so how many was that in the total? That was a uh, one, two, three, four, five throws I think. And uh, Lieber, do you have any um uh, any spare cake uh, that I can use uh, to have my go? So I need to try and beat five and oh seems like there's uh, an enderman on the uh, the course as well. <laughs> right let's go and uh, give it a, a go then and try and avoid the the enderman. Right I don't want to throw it too far. If I throw it about there. Oh no that looks dangerous. That looks dangerous. Stop going. Stop going. There we go. That was perfect. It stopped right at the the very end of the the ice here so now i want to try and get it as close to the the mouth as i can so this is throw number two big jump and throw and can i get it close to the mouth oh that was good that was really good actually so now i might actually be able to get it uh, in my third throw is it going to go in yes there we go i did it in three throws <laughs> yay me jolly good and let's go and get the the cake we can't let that go to waste right then so this is the the first thing that i built uh, i might as well go and uh, grab uh, gregory jr as well while we're here hello gregory jr you can come and uh, join us with the uh, the tour of the the rest of the fun land and uh, let's move on now uh, let's go do the the dunking booth this isn't the the second thing i built uh, the thing i built after the golf course was actually the uh, the creeper coaster uh, but this one is a jolly good fun game. So we're going to have one go, Lee Bear. Do you want to be dunked or do you do you want to fire the, the arrow? You can go into whatever position you want. Okay, looks like Lee Bear wants to be dunked, <laughs> which means I need to go and grab my uh, bow and arrow. And uh, if I go in this minecart, you're going to see it's going to go whizzing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I need to try and shoot that target while bouncing back and forth. And if I hit it correctly, then Lee Bear is going to get dunked into that giant fish tank. So that's the, uh, the way this game works. It's a very simple game, uh, but it is a quite difficult one to do to hit it and oh you can see that when you fire uh, it kind of doesn't go exactly where you think it's going to go and uh, the trick is to try and do it in as a, a few shots as you can and uh, it is a uh, rather difficult don't worry though uh, i don't uh, i probably shouldn't um yeah i won't gonna i won't burn down the entire fish tank so we should be uh, okay it kind of looks like i will <laughs> but the, the fire shouldn't spread and all oh, i hit it which means lee bear should get dunked there we go <laughs> lee bear got dunked down into the water one of the uh, uh the uh, the most fun games i have in my fun land so uh, let's go and put that back up there and uh, do I have the the wall the wall should have landed somewhere around here let's put a um let's put a snowball that can be the the target for now oh uh, yeah so this is my my dunking booth uh, on to the the next ride so uh, the next one uh, we're going to do is the uh, the creeper coaster. We might as well uh, just go through in order and uh, sh uh, see all of the other uh, rides, uh, the ones that are next to each other. So this is uh, the only roller coaster uh, that I've built in my my funland, and one that I built uh, a very long time ago. Sadly, no dogs allowed on the uh, <laughs> on the the creeper coaster. It's not safe. And let's have a little bit of cake as well before we go. Right, I'm not going to get into it here uh, because sometimes it glitches and you kind of end up sitting a little bit too low. So I'm going to try and roll it for a bit and then jump in. And uh, hopefully this is going to go. 
fast enough. Uh, is it going to go? Is it going to go? Is it going to go? There we go. <laughs> I just about got to the, the next power rail. So the way this one works is that you go up to the, the top here and then you drop inside of this uh, big creeper's mouth and uh, we are now going inside of the creeper. You can see there's the uh, the huge TNT block uh, which is inside of every creeper. Uh, that is uh, what allows them to, to blow up and uh, we make our way down here around the, the edge of the creeper and eventually uh, we come out of the uh, the other side and then uh, we whiz around for a bit and uh, there's uh, other few uh, things to, to see. Uh, I always like the idea of roller coasters, uh, ones with uh, good themes. Uh, so that when you're going around, there's always things to look at and things to see. And it's not just about going around really fast. Although going fast is really good fun. And speaking of going fast, <laughs> we are going really fast now. Going up to the uh, the tallest bit of the roller coaster. And then we're going to drop back down. There's the uh, the big squid there. You can see also there's a, a ladybug just uh, hanging out down here. And then we go and lift up on the, the other side here. Ready for uh, one of the uh, the other big drops. And uh, we make our way down here through this little cave. And uh, watch out for the, the lava. Whiz back up around the other side. And we're now about to meet Mushroom Stew. There he is! <laughs> and he throws you some Mushroom Stew. Oh no, I think I missed it! I think I missed my Mushroom Stew. I didn't uh, grab it quick enough. <laughs> and then we go and spin really fast uh, down this little twirly bit here, and then that should lead us uh, over to the uh, to the end of the, the roller coaster where we uh, started from. And my cake is still sitting there. So let's go and uh, get this minecart out of the way. Uh, because Lee Bear, uh, who is uh, going round as well, uh, should be just about to arrive any second now. Let's go outside now and uh, see if we can uh, uh, see him arriving. I'm not sure how far behind he went. There he is! <laughs> you can see him whizzing down there. I just about was able uh, to catch him making that cool jump off the edge. Hello, Lee Bear! <laughs> and oh, there we go. He he got some mushroom stew. I didn't get my mushroom stew, <laughs> but he was able to, to get some. Anyway, uh, let's go on to the, the next ride. This is the uh, the Pew Pew Shooting Range. Uh, another very old game. And we're not going to play this one properly. Uh, this is basically like uh, like a big archery range you've got to go and uh, try and shoot uh, all of the uh, the paintings off these targets and you've got to try and uh, hit some of these um, uh, mine carts as well uh, they're supposed to be big slugs and snails these mine carts are they're quite uh, difficult to hit actually you've got to get the the timing just right I think I need to shoot a little bit earlier than I am nope that still wasn't early enough uh, if I shoot about now there we go I was able to, to hit the uh, the big slug so that's how uh, this game works and uh, let's go and um, now move uh, on to the the next one is Gregory Jr. still following me have we lost Gregory Jr. I'm sure he's going to show up around here somewhere. Is he hanging around outside? I want to be very careful around here. Oh, naturally, uh, let's go to, to this one. Seeing as it is nighttime and a bit spooky, this is Googly's Manor. You can see the, the house uh, kind of looks like a, a big scary face a little bit. And that's because this is my haunted house. And this is uh, where a lot of the uh, the googlies live. So as we go inside here, uh, we need to first go and put on some some spooky music. Do you want to go and put that on Lee Bear? So we've got some spooky sounds playing in the, the background. And this whole house is supposed to be haunted. You can see uh, that there's doors opening and closing here because there's ghosts around the place. And this is the, the googlies dining hall. Uh, sadly, it looks like we don't have any uh, guests at the moment. Uh, but sometimes googlies fall down from the uh, the attic above and then you can see them all uh, sitting around here having their big banquet <laughs> and uh, then we can go and make our way through here uh, this is the the witch's room and there's arrows and then there's jack-o-lanterns and all sorts uh, of spooky things jumping out and wait a minute at the end of this corridor, there's a cake. Yeah, yeah, I can go and eat the cake. And whoa, I fell into the lava. <laughs> this is basically a, a little trap to, to scare people as we go now down into the, the dungeon. And you can see there's rotten flesh. And there's evil Mr. Porkchop, <laughs> who you might know about if you saw my uh, Halloween special called Ghost Stories. And then we go up here. And then we've got a, uh, a bedroom, which is full of all of these floating ghosts. And uh, we want to be very careful in here. Oh, there's some some slimes in here. We told you this is where the uh, where the googlies live. <laughs> and uh, this is the, the creeper's bedroom. This is where uh, the creepers live. And oh no, all of the, the lights turned off. It's a haunted house. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, the haunted house. This is uh, another thing that I built uh, a really long time ago, but I still really like it. I think that uh, there's a lot of the, the things that I built a very long time ago, I go look back at them now and I'm constantly thinking, oh no, I wouldn't do it like that if I built it now, or oh, I could do it much better. Uh, but this thing, uh, I still really enjoy it. I still think that's a, a really good th uh, fun thing uh, to go and walk through. Uh, we might as well go and show you this, actually. Uh, we kind of skipped this one a bit. This is the uh, the pretty duck fling. And uh, the idea of this game is that, that we... Uh, let's, let's go and have a little quid, uh, little bit of a test to go. Uh, we grab some of these uh, fishing rods uh, that are inside of here, and then you go up 
uh, this little ladder and the idea is you want to try and fling uh, all of the uh, the chickens uh, from one side to the the other side so I say this is my side down here Lee uh, you have the other side and so what you're trying to do is you're trying to flick the uh, the chickens and uh, lift them up and uh, there's a, a fence in the the middle down there and you're trying to fling them uh, so they go from uh, your side to the other side and whoever has the uh, the least chickens well ducks I suppose I should say uh, yeah on their side by the end of the game uh, they are going to be the uh, going to be the the winner so quite a, a fun crazy game and sometimes uh, the ducks go a bit mad and start falling over the the edges and people fall in the game it's normally <laughs> a bit of a silly game and there's a good trick if you try and grab one then you can kind of go back around here a little bit and then kind of jump and try and fling it over there we go you see I was able to, to fling one over the the fence in the middle so that is how the uh, the pretty uh, duck fling works all right on to the uh, the next game then shall we let's uh, keep moving on as fast as we can we have lots of mini games to get through uh, so we are going to be going through them as part uh, as fast as possible uh, just to make sure I can show you every single game and uh, we don't miss any out and we kind of have a a, a two for one over here. We got uh, crystal uh, rapids there and crystal water, which is uh, as a, uh, above it. And this one is a a boat race game. You kind of need to go around this track, and there's a few obstacles and things uh, that you bang into. And then above it, uh, we have a a boat dodgems game. So this is a game where you uh, start in these towers, and then you get a boat which gets pushed off the tower, and you need to stay in the the raised bit. You can see the water's a little bit higher in the middle. Uh, you need to kind of stay like a, a king of the hill uh, type game. And stay in the middle and try and dodge uh, everyone out and then whoever stays in the the middle for longest uh, wins the uh, the games the two uh, fun boat themed games there uh, all right let's go and uh, grab Gregory Jr and uh, let's keep her uh, moving on then shall we so uh, these are a few more of my newer games uh, let's have a game with this so let's have a, a game of sharky shark because I absolutely love sharky shark one shark only the winner takes all Lee bear that's how we're gonna do it so <laughs> the way this games works is we have these two boats and that minecart in the middle uh, is supposed to be a shark and so just like the the duckling game we need a, a fishing rod I've actually still got one on me and I'm just gonna have my mushroom stew as well and you need to flick the uh, the minecart to try and get it into your boat here so you'll kind of see how it works so we can begin in three, two, one, go, 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 go. So I need to try and flick the minecart and I need to pull it back to my side. I'm not doing very well though. Lee Bear is doing really well. He almost got it to his side. There we go. I was able to, to pull it back. You can see that there's some power rails uh, which allow you to move it a little bit quicker. And uh, there we go. It's going bouncing over all of the waves. It's got stuck here though. Can I pull it? There we go. I was able to pull it. I'm getting really close. I think maybe one or two more big pulls. I might be able to get it to me. It's right by the end. Oh, Lee Bear was just about able to save it and it's whizzing back now. Can I stop it? There we go. I was able to, to pull it back to my side. I'm so close. Oh no, Lee Bear fell off the boat. Man overboard. Man overboard. And I was able to, to capture the shark. <laughs> I think you were, might uh, just about have been able to save it there, Lee Bear, if you didn't fall into the, the water. So that's uh, another kind of fun little game which uh, I built. Uh, another good one for playing with just uh, two people. And uh, let's go and move on then, shall we? Uh, let's uh, let's go to the, the newest game that I've built. Actually, this is almost the newest game. I have built uh, one game since this one. Uh, but this game uh, is a really fun game, and it's called uh, Rule the Jewel. And this is uh, another one we can have a, a little bit of a, a test to go on as well. And uh, this is a, a bit of a, a jousting game. I'm going to go and grab a, a, another bow from here, uh, because I don't want to use my really strong bow, because it might get a, a little bit dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to grab some spare arrows as well. And uh, if you go on to the, uh, the green side, I'll go to the, the red side. And... Uh, the idea of the game is that you need to shoot arrows uh, to try and take out uh, the other person's minecart. So whenever you're ready, Lee Bear, if you go and uh, press the button, uh, then we'll both get set off and I uh, will be able to, to see him through the, the glass and give him a little bit of a wave. And then we're going to go downstairs and I need to try and shoot his minecart uh, before he is able to, to shoot my minecart. So I'm going to wait for the little opening and oh, we both missed. I think we were both really close. Uh, but we both miss. But all it does is it pushes you straight back up here, and then you can press the button again and go straight away. And you keep going uh, until you uh, until you have a winner. So let's go and uh, try and aim a little bit further ahead of him this time. And oh, I know I, I nearly hit him, but the pillar just saved him. I need to shoot uh, a little bit earlier, I think, and uh, then I should be uh, able to to get him. It's all about getting the uh, the right timing uh, and the uh, the good accuracy as well. It doesn't work if you just have either of one. And there we go. I was finally able to hit him. I was able to rule the jewel. <laughs> so that's a uh, a uh, pretty good fun little game and uh, oh I've kind of got a little bit stuck in the game as well I guess if I uh, kind of just jump up here I can go around down here and we can go and uh, leave uh, going down this way and sorry Gregory Jr and, oh oh there's a skeleton out here there's a skeleton and zombies oh we were ambushed they were all waiting outside for us we were ambushed by them all <laughs> there we go now Gregory Jr is doing a, a good job of taking them out <laughs> oh dear anyway 
let's go play this game. This game uh, is called Whale of a Time, and this is a really fun game. And it's also a really good game uh, where you can go and uh, look over uh, the uh, the rest of the uh, the fun land uh, when you're really high up. So uh, what we need to do is that uh, we need to go and grab some of this uh, TNT, and uh, we're going to put it around the the edge here, and then put some around the top. And there's some huge rings out in the water, and uh, we're going to press a button uh, next to a dispenser, uh, which is going to dispense a piece of wool, and whichever color we get is the uh, the color we need to go for. So we're both only going to have one go instantly, uh, one go each, uh, just to see whether we can get it. So you can go firstly if you go and press the uh, the button. Uh, so Lee needs to try and land inside one of the the yellow hoops. So if I go and uh, stand over here. You can see there's a yellow hoop there, 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 and there. There's kind of three of them in a row. Oh no, there's one down at the very front as well. So Lee Bear's going to press the button and he's going to get launched very high into the sky. <laughs> and he wants to be really careful and try and land inside of one of the, the yellow hoops. And he did it. There we go. He was able to, to do it. He landed inside the furthest hoop, the uh, the hardest one to get. All right, it looks like the um the gauntlet has been set. It looks, to, it looks to see like I need to try and match Lee Bear's performance. And oh, oh no, oh no. This is the black one. The black one is the... The hardest one. You can see at the very distance over there, it's the absolute furthest one away and uh, the uh, the hardest one to, to get. So uh, this is going to be uh, a little bit difficult, but I'm always one that enjoys a good challenge. So let's go and uh, put this TNT around here and uh, around the, uh, the top as well. And it's safe uh, because there's the water there. Uh, it means that the TNT won't actually hurt you. So it's actually, surprisingly, a, a relatively safe game, considering uh, how much TNT there is. And there's only a very small hole, uh, which I can go and try and get launched out of. And oh, that didn't go very well. That did not go very well. Right, I'm going to have another go. I'm going to have another go. <laughs> uh, there is a little bit of a, a technique uh, which is required uh, to be able to, to get launched properly out the uh, the blowhole. And that uh, that didn't go very well. Uh, so I want to have one more go. Uh, it's uh, been quite a while uh, since I've done this game. So uh, this time I'm going to sprint forward a little bit more. Maybe that's going to work. There we go. That is more like it. Now let's see if I can land inside of the, the black hoop. Oh no, I think I went too far. I think I went too far. No, I actually went past it. I actually went too far. And I went over the black hoop. That uh, uh, that doesn't happen very often. In fact, I've never uh, seen that happen before. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Jolly good fun though, jolly good fun. And I think we're probably playing a few too many of the games uh, because otherwise this tour is going to take a, uh, a really long time. So I think uh, some of the uh, the next ones, uh, I might just kind of show them to you and describe them uh, rather than being able to, to play every uh, single one. So uh, next to this game, uh, we have Doggy Hockey. And uh, this is a uh, ice hockey style game uh, where you'd have a, a dog sitting in the middle. It normally is Gregory Jr. And you need to try and slide the dog uh, into the other person's goalpost. And uh, yeah, whoever sc uh, scores the most wins. So let me go and give you a bit of an example of what happens. So you'd be sliding the dog. You can see Gregory Jr.'s tail wagging as it's really good fun as he slides around on the ice. Then if you get the dog into the end, it makes a little bit of a, a dinging noise and the lights come on and then you score a point. Uh, but if the dog gets stuck in one of these areas, uh, there are some buttons you can press and these are called the uh, the danger zones and it goes and uh, knocks the, uh, the dog out uh, just like that. <laughs> we do have some problems uh, with the dog sometimes getting stuck in the wall, uh, which is the uh, the only uh, problem with this game. Apart from that, uh, it's a really good fun. Uh, so what else do we uh, have around here then? Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go and look at this game here then. This one uh, is called uh, Water Rush, I believe. And uh, this is a dolphin themed game. <laughs> the idea of this game is that there'd be a, a whole load of dolphins uh, that need to, to make their way up to the uh, the top. Uh, you can see that there's a lever there and so you would have about five or so dolphins there and they need to go in, uh, along here and then go up and then up like that. But at the same time, there'll be a shark on the top of this sushi restaurant and they got some buttons up there that they press and uh, that will make a bunch of uh, obstacles come out. So water comes out from there, uh, some pistons push out blocks there and uh, then uh, some arrows are fired out from the dispensers. And so all of those things are knocking down the dolphins uh, to make it harder from them. Uh, but then the first dolphin to pull that lever dunks the shark into the uh, the sushi restaurant <laughs> and they are the, the winner of the, the game. So probably uh, one of my silliest and uh, funnest games to, to actually play. Anyway, uh, let's go do this one. This one's called Rain drops and this is a nice one to, to ride uh, so you can go and have a look uh, over the uh, the entire fun land so do you want to go first Lee Bear I'm going to follow behind you and so uh, the way this game works is that we got this huge pipe uh, onto these clouds up here and hopefully uh, we're going to go and land down on the the waterfall and uh, gently go and slide into the uh, the pot of gold uh, down the the end down there I think Lee Bear might have uh, broke his boat though so I think uh, I'm going to go first this time so I want to be very careful uh, not to break my boat I want to go and uh, hopefully get it so me and Lee Bear uh, are going quite close together we don't want to be going too close together uh, because yeah we're going to end up banging into each other which <laughs> won't work very well so 
And you can see when we're in this uh, big tunnel of water, uh, we just get uh, gradually lifted up uh, by the water. And this is a, a great time to kind of uh, look through the uh, uh, look through the glass and see what the uh, the fun land uh, looks like from really high up. There is some water in the way a lot, huh? but once we get up to the uh, the top and once we're uh, flying down in the uh, in the boat, uh, we get a, a good chance to look over everything and also have the fun of just riding the ride. And it's supposed to uh, just guide itself. If you don't press anything, uh, the water just pushes you out. Uh, so hopefully uh, I won't have to press anything. I'm just gonna. Hopefully, uh, gently uh, go and land down on the uh, on the um, uh, waterfall. Sometimes it doesn't go 100% to plan. Uh, sometimes you do miss the waterfall. <laughs> it can be a little bit of a, a dangerous ride, but I think that makes it more fun. It's always good to have a little bit of danger. It just makes it uh, that bit more exciting. And I can't see where Lee Bear is. I guess he's uh, probably pretty close behind me, but I can't quite see him. Uh, so here we go. We should get fired off from uh, this cloud and uh, then go and land down on the, the next cloud down here. And oh, I think I went quite far there. Hopefully I'm going to make it. Here we go. This is the time uh, to get the uh, the good views uh, over the, the rest of the, the fun land. And I'm I've gone very far. I oh, know I've gone slightly to the side as well. There we go. I was just about able to, to land uh, on the, the rainbow and I now made my way down here uh, into the uh, the pot of gold. And it looks like Lee Bear uh, got a little bit stuck on the <laughs> on the, the rainbow there, but he still uh, was able to, to safely uh, make his uh, way back down, having a bit, a bit of uh, trouble on the, the water there. <laughs> right then, uh, let's go and... Um Let's go and uh, join Gregory Jr. again, and uh, we can go and carry on uh, looking at uh, a few more of the uh, the rides then. So, uh, sorry Gregory Jr., I feel really bad that we get to play with the rides and uh, you just sit there. But the problem is, a lot of the, the rides aren't particularly safe for, for dogs, so it's for your it's for your own benefit. <laughs> and this is quite a, a fun little game here. This is one that I don't play very much. I built it uh, for Christmas uh, a couple Christmases ago, and uh, this is called My Reindeer Rodeo. So we can have a little bit of a test to go on this one. Uh, Lee Bear, uh, do you want to go and jump up on uh, top of the, the reindeer? and I'll show you how it works. Uh, so it's like a, uh, a normal rodeo, uh, but instead uh, this one is a reindeer. And so uh, the reindeer is sp supposed to uh, try and uh, knock the, the other person off and uh, they're going to be sitting on the uh, the top uh, inside of a, uh, a boat. And there should be a chest uh, somewhere around here with some boats. Is there a chest somewhere around here? I was sure that there was a, a chest hidden around here with some uh, some boats in it. I'm not sure if there uh, if there is any more though. Right, I might go and uh, steal a, uh, a boat uh, from one of the uh, the other rides. I might go and steal one from the, the raindrops ride. So the idea is they're sitting there in the boat and then I switch a lever back and forth uh, which will nud, uh, nudge Lee Bear around and uh, he needs to try and stay on uh, for as long as he can uh, while the uh, the reindeer is uh, trying to, to knock him off. So uh, it's not it's probably not the best game because you know you, you're not going to play it for hours on end you'll get bored of it pretty fast uh, but for a fun little gimmicky Christmas game I think it is a jolly good fun. So Lee Bear uh, there's your boat there. Oh sorry missed a bit. Uh, oh no there you go you did grab it. There we go. Yeah so if he places it down on that middle block there and then jumps in. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, start switching this lever. And uh, you can see it's going to make Lee Bear bounce up and down really, really fast. <laughs> and the idea is you start slowly and then speed up and the boat broke. So yeah, as I said, probably not one of the best games. It's a little bit of a, a gimmicky, silly thing, but it's still <laughs> quite good fun anyway. Right then, uh, on to the, the next game then. What should we go and uh, have a look at now? Let's go and make our way back down here and look at these rides. Uh, this is a uh, quite a fun game. This game is actually called Sheer Fun. And the reason it's called that is because it's a, uh, a sheep shearing game. So uh, what you would do is uh, you'd go here and uh, you'd get from these dispensers by standing on the pressure plate uh, a load of dye and uh, some shears as well. And then you'd come back inside here and uh, you'd pick which colour you want to be. Uh, I generally pick the, the yellow side because uh, that's my favourite colour out of these. And then we'd go inside here and... Oh, I'll try and go inside here and try and actually stay up. <laughs> and then there'll be a, a countdown which has started uh, because I pressed that start button. And once that's finished, uh, this block is going to rise out of the floor and you need to run up to the, the top as fast as you can and uh, begin shearing sheep and uh, yeah, dyeing them your colour and then shearing them. Because there's a whole load of white sheep here. Uh, I'll try and dye them my colour and shear them. And uh, whoever gets uh, enough blocks uh, first wins. And the way you know you've got enough blocks is because you need to pile up uh, on the middle of that block there uh, in your colour. And then there's a, uh, a button at the uh, the very top up there that you press. And uh, yeah, when you press it, it plays a little tune and then you win. It sounds quite complicated, but it's actually not too bad. And it's a really good fun to, to play. And I'm uh, very proud to say I have never lost at it as well. So it's a game that I'm particularly good at. <laughs> Anyway, uh, moving on. This game uh, is called, I believe it's called Road Hogs, this game. Oh, that's just a, a sign. Uh, this is when we first named uh, the uh, the Lovely Jobly Love Love Petals. So that is the original Lovely Jobly Love Love Petals there. Uh, but yeah, this game I think is called Road Hogs. I don't think I put a sign. Oh, here it is. Yeah, Road Hog. And uh, this is quite a, a, an interesting game. Uh, it's actually a, a, a four-player game. Uh, you have two teams of two, and you'd have one person uh, would come in here. Actually, I suppose we can have a bit of a demonstration. Do you want to go downstairs, Lee Bear, and uh, grab the... Um, 
uh, grab the, the wheat and uh, I'm going to go and stand here. So the idea is, is I would go inside here and uh, I would go and jump on this pig. And then the other team uh, would do the, the same on the, the other side. But then underneath me, uh, my teammate would be holding a piece of wheat. And uh, actually, no, oh wait, it, oh, I don't think it's going to work anymore, actually, because when I built it, uh, the pigs followed wheat, and uh, now they follow carrots, so I would have to change it with carrots, but the idea is, is that they'd be downstairs here, and they'd be holding the uh, the carrots, and they would have to guide them uh, through the, the maze, so they'd hold the, the carrot here, and they'd be walking around here, and uh, they'd try and guide them through the maze to get to the, the other side, and uh, they'd have to steal two levers and bring them back, and then uh, when they pull the, the levers, uh, then they win, so uh, you need to... Uh, uh, to have a lot of a uh, uh, teamwork with your um, uh, the person on your team, uh, otherwise you're you're not going to win. So that's a, a quite an interesting game that we've not played in a while. That's uh, so why I'm definitely going to have to to play that one soon. And oh, this is one that we can play now though, because this is uh, both uh, one of Lee, uh, me and Lee Bear's favourite games. And this one's called Flop. And uh, what we need to do is that we need to go and grab a uh, another fishing rod, and uh, we go upstairs this ladder. And the idea is you need to to flick your fishing rod uh, to hit these pressure plates. Uh, because if you hit them, it pushes out some blocks here, and then that way it will knock them down. I can demonstrate here with Gregory Jr. If I step on these, <laughs> you can see that it knocked down uh, Gregory Jr. So we can begin in three, two, one, go, go, go. So we need to go and try and run left and right. And I need to try and uh, flick the um, uh, the pressure plates on Lee Bear's side, uh, which is going to make him go and uh, be dropped down. And of course, he's doing the same to me. But there we go. I was able to, to drop him down. Right, one more go, Lee Bear. One more go. Winner takes all. <laughs> and it's uh, quite a, a difficult game because you've got to worry about trying to hit their pressure plates uh, while worrying uh, about not being dropping, uh, not being dropped on, on your side as well. And I keep kind of trapping Lee Bear, but I haven't knocked him down. And there we go. Is he falling down? Yes, there we go. I was able to, to knock him down. <laughs> one of the, uh, the uh, more simple, and uh, most fun games uh, that I've built in my fun land. Right, moving on, moving on, moving on. This one uh, is a, uh, uh, a game called uh, Snowfro. And uh, what you need to do is um, uh, basically behind here we have uh, some buttons. And if I press the button, it opens the window uh, co corresponding to the, the colour and also fires out a, a gold nugget. And so what I need to do is open the windows as many times as I can to get as many gold nuggets while Lee Bear is throwing snowballs at the, the paintings. And every time he uh, destroys one of the paintings, uh, it basically... Um, it stops me uh, from being able to, to press that button anymore. So you can see uh, he's now did the, did the, uh, the, the blue one. If I press it, uh, that blue window will no longer open. So it's how quickly uh, he can go and destroy all the paintings and uh, yeah, how long uh, for me uh, I can go and try and keep pressing the buttons to get the uh, the gold nugget. So now I think the only one left is the uh, the green one here. And so he's going to very easily get the green one. And then I'd see that my score was, I think, uh, 10, uh, no, 11 gold nuggets. And then we'd switch around and uh, do the uh, the same the, the other way around. So that's how uh, the uh, the snow throw game works. Uh, probably uh, one of my more complex ones uh, in terms of the, uh, the redstone, but still uh, good fun to play. All right, let's go down here. I think we missed out a few rides in this area. Aha! This is uh, quite a, a simple one. Uh, we're not going to bother riding it. Uh, because it's probably one of my more boring ones, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, it's called my Helter Skelter, and it's a huge tree. I love the uh, the look of it. And uh, you basically put a minecart at the top, and you go and just whiz down uh, on your minecart. The idea was that I wanted it to have zero redstone, so there's no uh, power rails or anything, or you're just only guided by the uh, the gravity uh, as you whiz around. And it is quite fun uh, to kind of go down a little bit, uh, but it is a, a little bit slow, <laughs> just because there, there are no power rails. But I really like it, uh, just because I like the, uh, the look of the, uh, the huge fake tree right there. Anyway... Uh, this is uh, another slightly more complex one. Uh, this one is called Fish Me a Dish. And uh, this is uh, another one we've got to use the uh, the fishing rods, actually. Quite a lot of fishing rod games. And uh, what we need to do is that uh, you go and grab the, the fishing rods here. And I'll go and uh, press this button here, uh, which will start a timer upstairs. And uh, it needs to be... Uh, the game is uh, that you need to try and uh, fish as many fish as you can. So uh, after a few seconds, uh, these blocks here are going to open up. And uh, I need to go and try and fish uh, into the, uh, the water down there. And uh, Lee Ben needs to try and do the same. Then eventually this one's going to shut. And then the uh, the next ones are, are going to, to open. And it's whoever can get the uh, the most fish uh, by the uh, the end of the, the game wins. And seeing as we've started, uh, we might as well go and have a full game. And oh no, I was too slow. I could have got a fish then, uh, but I was too slow pulling it back. You find with this game... You generally either get a game where you both get loads of fish, or you get a game where you get no fish. It's, it's generally it's generally all or nothing. It's either lots and lots of fish or no fish whatsoever. <laughs> and it might look uh, actually easier for Lee Bear, uh, but sometimes it's harder uh, to fish into the water when it's uh, really close to you because it's kind of hard uh, to get the uh, the fishing rod uh, where it's in there when it's properly bobbing up and down. A lot of the time it kind of gets stuck, just like it is now, uh, sort of getting stuck on the uh, the blocks and things. But right, there's that one shut. 
Uh, so we're moving on to the the next one. So this one has just uh, one piece of water in the uh, the middle of the room, and this is probably the uh, the easy one to go for. And oh, you can see that Lee Bear uh, was actually carrying on with the the other one. Uh, as long as you can still see it through the the glass, uh, you can go and try and carry on uh, using the uh, the other one. And that includes uh, when the uh, the final one shut as well. And so uh, it's supposed to be uh, the idea that this is a kitchen and they're trying to cook fish in this restaurant, and this is how they get their fish <laughs> by fishing it through the uh, through the, the the floor here. And I think so far. I have uh, one fish and uh, Lee Bear doesn't have uh, any yet, so I think this is uh, uh, looking uh, pretty good for me. And even though the game seems quite simple, uh, the redstone upstairs is actually uh, rather complicated. It took uh, quite a, a long time for me to, to be able to work it out uh, to make it so that, you know, as one of the um, uh, the openings opens, the other one shuts, and it uh, got a little bit complicated. I, I remember being uh, particularly proud of the uh, the redstone when I when I first did it. It was certainly <laughs> the uh, the most uh, advanced redstone I had, uh, I had done up to that point. I'm not doing very well here though. I got that you know, that one fish very early on, but the uh, the fish don't seem to be to be biting. I think I have uh, missed uh, a few opportunities uh, where it has bobbed down, but I wasn't able to pull it back quick enough. But there we go. Oh no! Oh no! I got the fish, but I wasn't able to to get it into my water. Uh, what you need to do is you need to flick it into. You see, there's a stream of water underneath me there. Uh, if you don't get the fish into that water, uh, then sadly uh, it does not count. And you can see that the um. Uh, the block has shut now, but if I'm able to get a fish, it still does count. As long as the uh, the fishing rod uh, still in, is uh, still in the, the water, uh, it does still count. So there is uh, probably a, a chance uh, for me to get one more fish uh, as long as I get this right and I'm able to, to flick it uh, into the uh, the stream of water. It looks like Lieber uh, is doing the uh, the same on the, the side opposite me as well. Oh, his seems to be bobbing up and down like crazy. And we did it! Oh, Lieber got a fish, which means it's all on this. We're one fish each, which means that if I don't get a fish now, uh, Lieber bear's gonna win but if I do get a fish uh, then I am gonna win oh no sorry if I don't get a fish uh, then we're gonna draw uh, but if I do get one then I am gonna be the the winner of fish me a dish so come on please bob down it's weird it's kind of floating over the water I don't know if I'm even gonna get one oh no I did get one but I don't think it went to the water let's go and count it up oh no I did I got three I got three fish I didn't even realize I was able to get three fish <laughs> did I get two in one then I'm not even sure what happened though but yay I was able to to get myself three fish <laughs> jolly good fun Lee Bear jolly good fun and let me go and uh, very quickly uh, hop upstairs here and uh, let me go and uh, show you uh, how the uh, the redstone works. I'm not going to explain it to you, uh, but yeah, you can kind of see what I was talking about, uh, where it's um it's pretty complicated. It's a pretty uh, advanced redstone, and I was uh, very proud when I when I finished building this. And here's some uh, some signs to prove that I did actually do it, <laughs> in case people were uh, didn't believe me that I did this redstone. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, move on to the uh, the next game then, shall we? And uh, I think the next one uh, is the uh, the top poor doggy assault course, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is my giant doghouse here. You can see there's a, a huge bone there as well. And there's also some skeletons inside. So let's go and uh, try and deal with the uh, the googlies first and try and take all of them out. And uh, then we can go and uh, show you how this game works. So uh, it's basically an assault course, uh, not for people, uh, but for my, my dogs in this instance. So um, what you do is I would go and uh, pull this lever here and then that would go and start a timer and I would have to, to run around the, the course like this and my dog would follow me and would see how quickly uh, the dogs could uh, get around the uh, around the course and Gregory Jr. seems to be doing very well so far uh, he needs to go and get through these uh, big colourful pillars now I need to try and keep running back is he still there? yep he's still just about following me and uh, here's the tunnel uh, I'm supposed to jump over the tunnel and then Gregory Jr. is supposed to run through the tunnel is he going to come? come on Gregory Jr. there we go through the tunnel and oh oh the switch needs to be on. Uh, Lieber, go go switch the uh, the switch quickly. Uh, the uh, the lever down there uh, goes and starts uh, all of these uh, trap doors uh, flapping and uh, this um, uh, that block going up and down. But oh no, Gregory Jr. has suddenly lost interest. Come on, Gregory Jr. Keep following me. Come on, you did it. You did it once. I know you can get through the tunnel. You can do it again. <laughs> I'm trying to to back off into this uh, corner over here, and uh, hopefully he's going to to want to follow me. What's he looking at? Oh, I think he's just mesmerized by the um uh, by the little flaps opening and closing. Right. Looks like I'm gonna have to go and uh, give him a, a little bit of a nudge. No, this way, Gregory Jr. No, come on, follow me. Right, if I go and run very quickly this way, uh, hopefully he's just going to charge after me and go straight through the, the tunnel. Is he coming? I think he is. There we go. And now if I go and run down this way, I just need to get him uh, through these um uh, these fence gates and uh, over that last hurdle. Is he going to come round? He's thinking about it. He keeps thinking about it. Is he going to come? Come on, Gregory Jr. And he cheated and teleported. <laughs> that wouldn't have been a, uh, a particularly good time for uh, Gregory Jr. I don't think he's going to be breaking uh, any records. I think uh, Sherbert is the uh, the current record holder for getting around the uh, the assault course. But uh, still pretty good fun. And it's 
it's kind of nice to have a place which is fun for the uh, the dogs uh, as well as uh, fun for us. So they always uh, enjoy coming over here. All right, let's go and uh, carry on uh, showing you around uh, a few more of these games. Um, it is actually getting a, uh, a little bit dark now. Ooh, I know what we could do next. How about we have a game of flower power? Seeing as it's uh, nighttime, uh, I'm going to go and uh, sit Gregory Jr. Uh, down here uh, because this is a, uh, a combat game. So I don't want Gregory Jr. Uh, to see me fighting Lee Bear and to think that we're, we're actually fighting. So you can be on this side, Lee. I'm going to go to the, the other side. So this game uh, is a, a capture the flower game. And uh, what you need to do is you need to run around this area inside here and bring uh, all of the, uh, the the flowers of your colour uh, back onto the top of your flower pot uh, before the uh, the player on the other team does the same. So these chests here uh, are just empty chests that we can use to empty out all of our pockets. And uh, Lee Bear, make sure you take your armour off as well. You're not allowed uh, to have any armour on you. All you're allowed uh, is uh, wooden bows, uh, bows and arrows, and uh, some food as well uh, so you don't get hungry. And there also seems to be a big slime. <laughs> all of the, uh, the googlies uh, we're just going to leave inside of the, the game. Or they might just make it a bit more exciting. So let's go and uh, grab these uh, bows and some arrows. And uh, let's go and uh, grab myself uh, a wooden sword as well. I'll have a spare one in case it breaks. And uh, yeah, what we need to do now is uh, we set our spawn. So uh, if you die, uh, it's not the end of the game. Uh, you just respawn back inside of your, your flower pot and uh, carry on playing. So Lee Bear slept on the other side. I'm going to start the game, Lee, in three, two, one, go, 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 go. So I'm going to pull that down, uh, which means the, uh, the game is now going to open up. And I need to run around and try and steal as many of the... the yellow flowers as I can but you can also uh, grab the uh, the other team's flowers and then that way uh, they need to take you out uh, in order to, to try and get them and I can see Lee Bear is getting stuck down in that corner actually if I get him trapped there uh, the uh, the slime might go for him and he might get stuck in the, the corner there we go Lee Bear's fighting the slime this is good this is good hopefully the slime is going to take out Lee Bear and help me out this isn't how the uh, the game normally goes but <laughs> it might be quite good fun anyway oh no he's going to try and get back onto his base and try and put in the, the flowers uh, he's probably weak so I'm going to keep charging after him and there we go I was able to, to take him out and um, uh, once he's put the, the flowers down, uh, they're banked and I'm not allowed to, to go and try and take them back. But this is now a good chance uh, for me to try and steal a, a few of Lee Bear's flowers and I'm going to go now and try and put them back in the base. We can see that the, the slime uh, is still running around up there. Uh, so I want to be very careful of that. And where is Lee Bear? I can't see him. Oh, there he is. I can see him running around. But because I've got one red flower on me, I know that he's not going to be able to win. So I switched the, the little lights on uh, to mark that I got these in. And oh no, it looks like Lee Bear's firing after me. He's on top of the uh, the tree tower up there let's try and shoot back there we go that was quite a good shot can i hit him again is he gonna poke out the window Oh, he jumped off you see that he jumped off the other side he, he got scared and decided to, to run away this might actually be a good chance uh, for me to try and get in the the last flower that i need to get in i'm gonna go and try and get up the the ladder lee bear is just charging after me i need to try and dodge all of the arrows oh no that hurt that hurt can i get it in can i get it in and yes i was able to to get it in and i won <laughs> so that means i got four flowers and a uh, lee bear uh, was able to, to get two uh, of his in. So there we go. That is uh, how you play Flower Power. And you can either play it uh, like we did as a, a 1v1 game uh, or you can go and play it as a 2v2 or a 3v3 or even uh, a 4v4 if you want a, a crazy hectic game. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, pick up Gregory Jr. again and uh, carry on showing you the uh, the rest of these uh, mini games. And it's okay, we were only play fighting. We were only play fighting. Good. I, I don't think he uh, I don't think he saw anything of what happened. Uh, this is a... Um, uh, a game called Turbo Types, and uh, the idea of this game uh, is it's a game where you need to see uh, how fast you can type. So let's go and uh, we'll have one tester game of this, Lee Bear. If um, you go grab a sign here, uh, let's do the um, let's do the alphabet one. Uh, so what you need to do is you sprint forward and uh, you place the uh, the sign on the the block there, and then you're going to slowly go and slide down this um, big uh, trail of water, and uh, you need to see how many letters you can write in that time. So on this one, uh, we got to do the alphabet. So we can begin. In three, two, one, go. So you need to sprint forward and then you need to go and start typing as fast as you can. So I want to go uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh no, oh no, I did that wrong. F, 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 G, H, I. Okay, I think I'm just going to go and do safe now. I'm going to go back. Right, there we go. So if I fell the entire way down, I would have been stuck uh, down there in that uh, room down there and I wouldn't have been able to, to get back out and uh, I would have lost. And so the way you win is it's basically the person who has typed the, uh, the most characters uh, will be the, uh, the winner of the game. And I'm not sure yet 
uh, whether Lee Bear got stuck down or whether he's been able to, to get back up. Oh, Lee Bear was able to, to get back up. So I uh, was able to get A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and Lee Bear got, uh, he got J, K, which means Lee Bear was the, the winner. Well done. <laughs> so that's a, a fun game. There's also this one uh, where you just do numbers and uh, this one where you're actually writing a, uh, a proper sentence. So this is the uh, the hardest one on the, the end here. All right, let's go and uh, move on then, shall we? Uh, over here, uh, this is a, a game called Tumble Tower. Uh, this is one that I play quite regularly, and the idea of the game is it's the first person to get to the, the top of the tower, and what you do is uh, you go and flap up some of these flaps like this, and you need to keep jumping and flapping until you get to the top. So you'd flap up a bunch like this, and then you'll jump and uh, keep trying to flap them uh, to get up as high as you can. But of course, because there's going to be everyone else doing it, another tactic is to go and try and flap down their trapdoors, just like me and Lee Bear are doing, <laughs> to try and make them fall uh, into, the, into the water. And uh, once you get to the top, uh, you do get some really nice views of the the area as well uh, anyway uh, this is a, a game called dings and dongs <laughs> it used to be called ambush for a bit but i changed the name and this is kind of like a, a big board game if i go and uh, climb up here like lee bear's doing i can kind of show you from uh, above uh, the idea is is that you need to try and get from your side uh, to the other person's side uh, while they're trying to do the same and uh, the way you do that is by switching through the different minecarts. So I'd sit down in this one, and then I'd go and switch to this one, and then to this one, and then to this one, and uh, basically uh, go through the uh, the game like that. And then uh, once you get to the other side, you win. But if someone's in the the block next to you. You can tap them, and then that means they are then out of the uh, out of the game. And so what you can do is try and hide uh, behind a wall like this. And then if they go to the uh, the minecart next to you, uh, you can ambush them and tap them, and then they are they are out of the the game. So it's quite a, a strategic tactical uh, game this one, but it's a uh, good fun to to play. And actually, what I want to do very quickly is I'm going to go and grab all of my uh, all of my items back because I left them in this chest down here. I don't want to forget about them. I want to go and get them back. I don't uh, feel safe without my my sword or anything. So let's go and. Uh, grab all of these things back on me, fill up my pockets again with all of the, the rubbish we've picked up <laughs> throughout these games. And uh, there we go. I feel a little bit safer now and I've got my uh, some more of my food and things back. Anyway, uh, on to the, the next game. This is a, a game we built quite recently. It's called Broth Brawl. And there's a, a huge cooking pot here. And uh, you need to go up to the uh, the top of the uh, the cooking pot, and you need to try and uh, knock the uh, the other people into the uh, the stew uh, while they're trying to to knock you in uh, as well. So let's go and have a very quick little tester game of uh, this one. Uh, once again, Gregory Jr., you're gonna have to to sit this one out. <laughs> this is a, a a no dogs allowed game, and I can actually pick uh, which vegetable uh, I want to use in the game. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a, a potato for this one, I think. Uh, so I gotta hold the potato, and uh, that's what I'm gonna use uh, to try and knock uh, knock Lee Bear uh, into the uh, into the the stew. So uh, there he is. <laughs> I can see Lee Bear playing peekaboo. Peekaboo, Lee Bear. Uh, that was actually uh, the the inspiration uh, for the uh, the next game I'm going to show you, which is called the the mole hole game. Uh, me and Lee Bear were just playing this game, and uh, we kept just playing peekaboo on the the ladders. So we'd go up the the ladder a little bit, and then we'd keep going peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo like this, and it made us laugh so much. Uh, I decided to to make an entire game based around playing peekaboo. <laughs> right though. Uh, that's not the uh, the game we're playing now. The game we're playing now is Broth Brawl. So uh, when I say go, we're going to jump on the vegetables and try and knock the uh, the other person in. So let's begin in a three, two, one, go, 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 go. And so this is a, oh no, I fell straight in. <laughs> Lee Bear, I fell straight. Can we do a best out of three, please? Because I fell straight in. <laughs> we'll have another go. Yeah, so the game uh, is normally played uh, with uh, more than uh, two people. You normally want to have a, a big group of people to do it because uh, then that way the game's a little bit more crazy and I think a little bit more fun. But sometimes it is fun having a uh, 1v1s. Makes it quite intense. Right then. Round number two. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Right, I'm going to stop speaking so much. I'm going to try and concentrate. Oh, Lee Bear did the exact same as I did. Right, this is the this is the decider then. <laughs> Let's see if we can both not be rubbish and actually try and jump on the, the vegetables. We haven't even had a chance to get close to each other yet, let alone knock each other in. <laughs> we can barely stand on the, the vegetables. Right, I'm going to go and I'm going to start over here. I kind of like starting in this area. Right. Let's go in three, two, one, go. We can go and actually jump in. I was able to, to not fall straight into the, the water here. And I think it's a good tactic uh, to try and stay on some of the uh, the bigger vegetables. Uh, so you see the Lee Bear's gone on a, a bit of a pee. Uh, it's kind of hard to, to stay on the pee because it's only uh, one block thick. We're both trying to be super careful. I charged in. Can I get him? No, he knocked me in. Which means Lee Bear was the, uh, the broth brawl winner. So as I said, uh, the game's a little bit more fun. 
uh, when you have uh, more people playing. Uh, but it is still quite good fun with uh, just the uh, just the two of us. All right then, uh, let's now go and show you the uh, the mole hole game once again, uh, a game which I built uh, relatively recently. And uh, this is the uh, the game uh, which was inspired by our little peekaboo sessions on that game. And so what you would do is, uh, do you want to be the uh, the mole for this tester game, Lee? Uh, so Lee Bear is going to be the mole, and he's going to go down into this little mole hole here. And uh, he's going to go and end up inside of one of these little holes uh, in one of these areas down there. And uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to go and uh, climb up to the, the top up here. And uh, there would normally uh, be a group of us in this uh, mole mound here. And I need to spin in a circle. And I need to try and spot which uh, hole uh, Lee Bear is playing peekaboo in. So I'm going to be spinning around to see there I spotted Lee Bear. So I'm going to go and shoot the uh, <laughs> the pressure plate. And then Lee Bear is able to get out. Uh, which means I would win. And then I would be the, the mole next. So it doesn't work with only two of us. Uh, but you can probably get a, a good idea how the other uh, game would work uh, if there were there were more of us. Right, moving on. Uh, this is actually uh, another one of the uh, the rides. This isn't a mini game. Uh, this is uh, a ride I built, uh, which is called It's a Lovely World After All. And uh, let me show you uh, how this one works. So if I go here, I can go and turn on the the music uh, by switching this lever up. And uh, this is a uh, another boat game, uh, but it's a uh, a much more calm and gentle boat game than the uh, the raindrops one. So what you do is uh, you press a button, and uh, that will spawn in a boat, and then you jump in the the boat, and it should hopefully uh, just start sliding. Forward forward and uh, guide you around this water. I think I'm a bit stuck in the, the wall right now. Here we go. I finally set off. So uh, this is another game uh, where you don't need uh, to steer the, the boat at all. It kind of just guides itself uh, in the uh, the water. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to show you uh, the story of my lovely world. So this was my first night uh, when I was attacked by uh, a zombie. Uh, you might have seen in my last uh, episode when I showed you my first shelter. Uh, that's basically saying my first night. Uh, there's me there with um, Gregory uh, who was the, uh, the first dog. And there's of course uh, my lovely world. And so uh, basically what it's doing and it's showing you through uh, some of the uh, the favourite moments uh, that I've uh, had in my my lovely world, and uh, we basically built like little models of them. So there's Lee Bear there, <laughs> and there's me, and you can see Lee Bear is uh, giving me uh, a cake uh, just like he did this morning, and I might actually num 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 uh, go and steal uh, a few slices of that cake there. And uh, now we're going to the moon. Uh, this is uh, supposed to be the the moon here. Uh, these are my lunar friends. Uh, you can see there that's supposed to be uh, all of the uh, the surface of the the moon there. And if we go around this corner, uh, we can see uh, a few of my friends. I seem to be getting a little bit stuck. This used to work perfectly, uh, where it would just guide you around. But I think uh, in some of the, the updates, they might have changed the uh, the way that water works. So it's not working <laughs> quite as uh, well as it used to. But you can see here are my friends. You can see there's Amy Lee there. Uh, there is, of course, me. Uh, there is a uh, Lee Bear next to me. And uh, then there is a uh, Rosie the Penguin down there. And if we get to the end here, uh, here's a, a villain, which I'm sure a lot of you are, are going to recognize. Uh, this is the evil hit the target. And you can see him as uh, standing on the uh, the top of his uh, evil castle up there. Uh, luckily, he doesn't have that castle anymore, but he's still uh, out around there somewhere. And if we go here, uh, here are a few more of my friends. There is a Ballistic Squid. Uh, there is a Finbull there. And uh, on the, the very end here is a, a very stern uh, looking Ankh. And then the uh, the final thing that you see uh, before the, the end of the ride, apart from me getting stuck <laughs> in the, uh, the boundary, I'm just going to run this next bit. Oh, what happened there? Okay, I suddenly went all the way back to the, the moon area. There certainly seems uh, to be something weird happening with the uh, the boats at the moment. Uh, but yeah, the very last thing you'd see uh, would be uh, Henry and Hilda uh, just standing here and waving to you uh, when you go and uh, exit the ride. So it used to work perfectly uh, where the boat would just end here and you get out. Uh, but obviously something's changed in the game, so it's not working anymore. But no worries, uh, the game was still quite good fun uh, to go around with a ride. Sorry, it's not really the uh, the game. And uh, yeah, the uh, the music didn't sound like it was working properly either. So uh, obviously something's uh, happened down here as well. I'm not uh, entirely sure uh, what's going on down there, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's go and uh, try and break our way out of here. And uh, we can go and uh, show you uh, the uh, the next mini game. So uh, let's go head down this way, shall we? And oh, <laughs> seems to have a, um, a golem wandering around the place. Oh, I think we left the, the gate open. Oh no, I think Holly and Jolly have escaped, or at least one of them has. <laughs> oh dear, right, looks like we're going to have uh, trails of snow all over the place. Oh well, we can go and and, uh, tidy this up a little bit later on. Uh, let's go. Let's go show you the uh, the circus next, shall we? A lot of you may remember. I put on a, a big show uh, a while ago and uh, I had a, a big uh, circus show uh, inside of here and we fired Lee Bear from a cannon. Uh, we had um, Ballistic Squid. I uh, was able to shoot an apple from the, uh, the top of Amy Lee's head. Uh, I also <laughs> was able to, to tame the, the wild, dangerous pig. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think we should do it again, Lee Bear. Do you remember what happened last time we fired the arrow and fired the, uh, the cannon? I don't think we should do it again. Uh, yeah, there was also a magic show I did with Rosie and uh, we all walked the, uh, the tightrope as well, which was a, a really good episode uh, if you want to go and check out my, my circus show and over here we have a game called what goes up 
And uh, the way this game works is that uh, you'll go inside one of these little containers and then you need to shoot all of the uh, the minecarts of your colour and then the uh, the door opens. Let me just go and do a demonstration. Uh, so normally uh, you'll be inside of there uh, and uh, you'll need to be firing the arrows up so they loop around like that so it's more difficult. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of show you what would happen. Ow! Ow, Lee Bear, was that, was that you or did I shoot myself with my own arrow there? I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> Let me go and uh, climb back up here. Uh, so yeah, once you shoot uh, all of the uh, the minecarts of your colour and then it plays a little ding noise and then the uh, the door opens and then you're able to to escape so it's all about uh, accuracy uh, with the uh, the bow and arrow so it should now yeah did you hear the uh, the little ding and uh, the door should have uh, opened up there we go just like that and uh, then we'd be uh, able to escape so let me go and uh, just grab these minecarts i don't want to uh, end up wasting these and be careful lee bear there is a uh, there's a cat on the the play field be careful <laughs> and uh, let's go and uh, climb up the uh, the outside here and uh, yeah we can go and uh, look at the uh, the next mini game i'm just going to go and throw these minecarts in here because i don't want to be uh, carrying these uh, around the entire place with me let's go put these away there and uh, let's look at the uh, the next mini game uh, this is a game which is called Berry Berry, and it's a berry burying mini game. <laughs> and what you need to do is that you'd go into to one side of the uh, the game, and you'd break all these berries off the tree, and you'd hide them under the the ground. And then when you're ready, uh, you go and press the uh, the button here, which plays a ding. You'll then switch uh, sides with the other person uh, who would have been doing the the same as you, and you need to dig up the ground and find the uh, the berries as quickly as you can. Uh, whoever can find the berries quickest is the winner. And so it's uh, pretty one of my simplest mini games, uh, but still one which is a very good fun to play. Uh, next up uh, we have the uh, the Wiggly Worm game and this game is a bit like Battleships. Uh, what you're supposed to do is that you come round here and you arrange uh, this gravel or on the uh, other side it's sand uh, into the uh, the shape of a worm. So you would go and uh, move the gravel down and do a wiggly shape all the way along there to the end and then you'd go here and you'd have to press the uh, the buttons uh, to guess uh, which, uh, which shape uh, they did with their worms and uh, if you get it correct uh, then the uh, the sand will go and drop down here, uh, which uh, plays a little ding noise just like this. And then also uh, on this side, it lights up a little light. And I actually added in these lights afterwards just to make the uh, the game easier. And so, yeah, you've got to try and guess uh, the uh, shape of the other person's worm. And every time you miss, uh, it switches so it's the other person's go to press a button. And every time you get one successfully, uh, you get to have uh, another go and try and string uh, through uh, a few of them across. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the uh, the Swift Swine game. And this is a uh, very simple game, which I did very recently. Uh, basically, it's a pig race. Uh, you sit on a pig, uh, you hold a, uh, a carrot on a stick, and you've got to guide the pig around the entire race and uh, get it to the end uh, first. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, there are a few obstacles. You can see there's some water there that keeps going uh, on and off, uh, which makes it a bit harder. And there's some fences that lift up and down over there and some bridges and things. Uh, apart from that, it's a straightforward pig race. Uh, this here is the, uh, the most recent mini game I built, uh, so I'm sure most of you have seen it if you're watching this. Uh, it's called Desert Drops, and the idea is, is that basically there's fire uh, which gets launched out from these dispensers, and it burns away the wood. Uh, as the, uh, the wood burns, uh, there's sand on top of them, uh, the sand drops down, uh, which destroys cactuses, which are up here as well. You need to throw the cactuses into your uh, hole, uh, which is your colour. Uh, whoever gets the most cactuses is the, the winner. Uh, so that's a, a kind of fun, crazy game. I'm sure a lot of you have seen us playing it recently, so I don't want to explain that one too much. Uh, but anyway... Moving on, this isn't the, the end of it. There are uh, some more games uh, over here uh, which I have not yet showed you. So let's go and uh, cut through this way here and see what other games we have. Aha! This is a game I haven't shown you yet. This is a game called Gold Grab. And uh, this is uh, one that we can actually play. Uh, it's uh, quite a little simple uh, 1v1 game. So Libe, uh, should we have a, a quick game of a uh, Gold Grab? And uh, the idea is that we're inside of a big pirate's chest of treasure and uh, we need to try and get the treasure and uh, get it to our side. So I'm going to be, uh, I'll be white, Lee Bear. Uh, so I'm trying to get it into this hole. And if you be blue, uh, you're going to be trying to, to get it into this hole over here. So let me go and press the button and uh, hopefully the chest is going to drop down. Nope, I guess the uh, the chest is on uh, your side, Lee Bear. So if you go and uh, press the uh, the button behind you, uh, then the uh, the chest should uh, drop down. And uh, as soon as it does, we can uh, begin, the, uh, begin the game. Did it not? drop down do we not have a chest there should be a uh, a mine cut with a chest oh there we go uh oh i think that i think that might have broke some some redstone there lee but i don't think that was a necessarily a good idea well we can have a bit of a test to go anyway <laughs> so the idea is i need to push it to your side and you got to push it to mine so let's begin so all you need to do is that you need to try and nudge it like this and you're literally trying to slide the other uh, mine cart across uh, to get it to the other person's side uh, while they're trying to do the uh, the same to you and it seems really simple uh, but it can actually be quite difficult to try and slide it uh, with someone blocking there uh, because sometimes you can end up uh, accidentally pushing it to your own side like, like that I tried to push it the other way uh, but I accidentally pushed it the, the wrong way and oh no it looks like Lee Bear won the game he got it up to the, the blue side <laughs> and then normally 
Right, you'd then press the button and it would go and drop back down and you do the, the game again. But I guess it drops straight back down because we broke some redstone. <laughs> so yeah, that is a gold grab. Uh, anyway, moving on uh, over here. Uh, this is a um, uh, a pretty cool game, and it's um, I think it's called Cats and Mice. No, Cat and Mice. That's what the uh, the game called. And it's a really big maze, and there'd be one cat and lots of mice. So the uh, the cat uh, would uh, start over here in the the middle of the maze, and the mice need to run in and try and steal the the cheese from these mouse traps, and then they'd bring it out here and uh, put it on the uh, the cheese stand. And uh, while they're doing that. Uh, the cat is going to be running around with a sword and uh, trying to, to stop all the, the mice. And so it's a game to see uh, how many uh, pieces of uh, cheese the mice can get uh, while the, uh, the cat tries to stop them. Uh, so quite a, a simple game, uh, but it's a really good, fun, intense game, especially when you have uh, lots of people playing with you. It's uh, a good uh, group game. And uh, another good group, uh, group game, and uh, quite a similar game actually, is this game called Honey Hunt. And uh, the idea of this game uh, is that I'd go and uh, press this game to start, and uh, there's going to be uh, lots of bees uh, which have their, their honey and a bear trying to steal it. So I'd need to run inside of here, and I need to go and try and uh, steal all of the, the honey. So it's basically uh, a big maze, and then there's these dispensers, and if I go over the, the dispensers I get a piece of honey, and I need to get as much honey as I can and get out of there. But while I'm doing that, there are going to be the bees running around and they have iron bars and they're going to be placing iron bars uh, on top of the uh, the trees and uh, they need to try and trap me in the iron bars or try and slow me down because after a certain amount of time uh, this fence is going to lift back up and if it does I am then stuck inside of the maze and I don't get any of my uh, of my honey so uh, you definitely I want to go and try and get out uh, as fast as you can so Lieber you want to be quick now because that fence is about to lift up any second <laughs> and you don't uh, want to be trapped inside of the maze and this is a uh, another one uh, with some rather uh, complicated looking redstone if I show you down here uh, you can see this is how uh, the uh, the redstone works and it's just uh, about to, to lift up the fence there we go uh, the fence lifted back up uh, but seeing as it's raining I think we should probably go and uh, run down here and uh, there should be some beds down in here uh, that we can go and uh, sleep in and then that way it's going to be morning and it won't be raining and uh, then there's just uh, only a, a few more mini games uh, left to show you and then I would have shown you every single mini game I have ever built in my in my fun land so uh, let's go and uh, head back upstairs now and uh, see what other games uh, there are to show you aha uh, this is a uh, quite a, a cool looking one uh, this is my uh, game which is called douse the house and the idea of this game is that you need to run uh, from one side of the the other uh, to try and get as much water as you can and then bring it back out to put out a, uh, a fire on the the house and this is a uh, quite a quick fun game so let's go and uh, have a bit of a, a tester game so for this one Lee Bear if you just go and grab yourself a, a bow and uh, have lots of arrows uh, and then if I go inside of here I need to go and grab a bucket as well and a Lieber if you go and grab a, um, a bucket as well and then what you need to do is you go on top of your uh, house up here uh, by climbing up these ladders here and you need to run uh, over to the the water and you need to fill up the bucket with water and uh, bring it back three times uh, to put out all of the the fire but while you're doing that uh, you also need to fire arrows through the the lava which will set the uh, the arrow on fire and uh, if it hits the uh, the TNT bridge then the uh, the bridge will drop away uh, to make it harder for the the other person so let's begin uh, douse the house in three two one go 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 right I'm gonna run all the way to here I'm gonna go to the middle because there's a bit of a safe area then I'm gonna go and try and shoot away uh, some of Lee Bear's bridge there we go I was able to shoot away a little bit of a Lee's bear uh, Lee Bear's bridge which is gonna make it a little bit harder for him and now I'm gonna run back here and I'm going to go and try and put down the um uh, yeah put out the uh, the first piece of fire. I can see Lee Bear is heavily shooting at me. <laughs> Let's try and shoot away a little bit more of his. There we go. You can see his bridge just dropped away a little bit more, which is going to make his jumps uh, even harder uh, for the next time he goes. Uh, because there's water uh, underneath the TNT, uh, the actual uh, TNT shouldn't blow up and destroy anything, uh, which would make the game a little bit harder. And oh, Lee Bear's lagged out. Uh, let me just go and very quickly get him back into the game. Okay, Lee Bear's back into the game. Uh, we can go and carry on where we were. I'm just going to wait a few seconds. Right, it looks like he's ready to to carry on playing so it's a bit of a, a bad time for him to lag out but it doesn't matter the game can carry on I only need uh, one more uh, piece to try and get but let me first go and try and shoot away a little bit more of Lee Bear's bridge uh, just to make it even harder for him uh, to try and get back across there we go I've probably left uh, quite a big hole there and oh no oh no he's destroying a whole load of my bridge down here oh no it wasn't too bad there's only one more little jump uh, I need to make and uh, then if I go over here I just need to go and put out the last piece of fire. Oh no, he's going to try and shoot away the bridge. There we go. He wasn't able to get it though. And I was able to put out the fire. So there we go. I was uh, able to win. I think he only had uh, one more to put out. Yep, he only had one more piece of fire to put out. Uh, but you can see because I shot away all of this bridge here, I made it a lot harder for him. And there we go. He ended up <laughs> falling down anyway. And so yeah, here we go. This is the uh, the douse the, uh, the house game. Uh, let's go and uh, grab... Uh, um 
Gregory Jr. and I can go and show you these uh, last few games uh, over here. Uh, so this game uh, is called Switch the uh, the Switch and this is quite a, a long game uh, so we won't play this one in full but I'll just explain it. The idea was that we'd go inside of this chest and we'd grab uh, the um, uh, the torches, the shovels and the sand. You'd then need to pile up the uh, the sand. I'll do a little quick demonstration I guess. Uh, you'd go and uh, pile up the, the sand like this and uh, the other person would do the same but they'd also be destroying your sand just like that <laughs> to try and make me drop down and uh, then I would need to whoa 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 steadily steady <laughs> once I get up to the top I need to then go and switch the uh, the lever so that the um minecart is going around on my side so because uh, I'm on the blue side I want to try and switch it uh, so then this way the the minecart's going around on my side and uh, whoever's got the uh, the light uh, for the longest on their side uh, would be the the winner so we're both battling uh, to switch the uh, the switch back and forth and also knocking each other down uh, on their on their towers so that's how the the game works and uh, once it's been on my side for a certain amount of time uh, all of those lights uh, above my uh, my side uh, would light up to, to say that uh, I have won. Uh, so that's the way the uh, the Switch the Switch game works. Uh, there is actually uh, another game here uh, which we missed out earlier. And uh, this game is called Take the Tooth. <laughs> and this is a, a game I built after I built my dentist. And the idea is, is that we are tooth fairies and uh, we're trying to get onto the bed uh, to take the, uh, the tooth uh, of a child. But we've got to be quiet uh, because there's all of these creaky floorboards. Uh, so you need to get to the end uh, without uh, stepping on any of the, uh, the pressure plates like that. Uh, because if you do, uh, then you can see the, uh, the child appears. So let's go. I'm going to go straight to go try and do the, the hard one if I can. And the hard one is very, very hard. So let's go and uh, try and jump to here. Here. And oh no, nope, I set it off immediately. Right, forget that. I'm going to go and start off with the uh, the medium one, I guess. <laughs> so what I want to do is try and jump around and avoid hitting any of the the pressure plates. Oh, I'm doing uh, pretty well so far. Uh, let's try and let's try and jump to, to over there, shall we? So let's try and line this up and sprint and jump. And yes, I was able to to do it. Now let's go try and land to here if I can. That was good. And now if I go and jump over to here. So far, so good. And there's no pressure plate there. So if I step back a bit and sprint and jump, and there we go. I was able to, to get to the bed and to the uh, the tooth uh, without setting it off. So there's an easy one, uh, a medium one, and then a, a very hard one uh, at the uh, the end down here, which Lee Bear's doing. Oh, Lee Bear's managed to get pretty far on the uh, the hard one. Let's see if he's going to be able to, to get to the bed uh, without setting any off. Uh, you can see that there's some trip wires there as well. And if he jumps over the, the tripwires, uh, that will set it off as well. But Lee Bear is doing really well now. He's right by the end. One more jump. This is a difficult jump to, to make, though. The final jump. But he did it. <laughs> he managed to get to the end and get the tooth. Well done, Lee Bear. And so I think that might almost be every game. There is one game. Uh, earlier on uh, that I, I know I missed out on and that was the uh, the bouncy boats game but I'm just gonna have a little bit of a, a wander through and uh, make sure I didn't miss out any of the the other games I'd be really upset uh, to think if I missed any of them out uh, but I don't believe I have though I think I have actually shown off uh, almost uh, every single game in my fun land and I have been uh, building my fun land for over two years now so I have built uh, a whole load of mini games but this is still uh, just the beginning I still have plenty more uh, ideas uh, for new games and uh, rides that we can build here uh, but yeah this is a bouncy boats game this isn't a game we can play uh, because you need uh, at least four people to play it uh, but what you do is that you need to bounce on boats <laughs> you'd have a, a, t a team of two uh, you'd have one person as a bouncer uh, the other one as a boater and uh, what you'd need to do is you'd go and um you go and uh, switch this uh, to start the the bouncing and then, then that would fire out a boat and actually Libra if you go and uh, jump in the the boat I can kind of give you a bit of a, a demonstration of what you're supposed to do so uh, basically Libra would get in the boat and he needs to try and sail in the the water a little bit in front of me then I need to jump and bounce on his boat uh, to get to this uh, lily pad here and then he'll need to go and sail the boat around there try not to break it <laughs> and uh, put it into the the middle and then I'll do the same but the other team would be doing the exact same thing at the exact same time so they would be uh, trying to, to get to, to this side over here and also the two people in boats uh, would be bouncing into each other all of the time and getting into each other's ways and uh, what I need to do is I uh, try and get to the end here uh, where there is some sand and I'll need to go and try and bring it back to, to my side and then if I throw the, the sand uh, down a little hole I would make it so that my frog uh, sticks his tongue out and then the other frog starts to, to cry. So let me just go and uh, show you that quickly. If I can jump off Lee, there we go, we're doing very well here. <laughs> so let me just go and uh, throw this sand in and uh, hopefully this is going to work uh, as to where uh, this frog, you can see, sticks his tongue out and then the other one starts to cry. <laughs> oh dear, quite a, a little silly game, but uh, one which is uh, jolly good fun. Uh, but now, 
I have shown you every single game which I have built in my fun land. So thank you uh, for staying tuned and watching the uh, the entire video. I know it was a, a very long video. In fact, the longest video I have ever done in my lovely world. So uh, yeah, thanks uh, for watching uh, to the end. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing uh, all of the uh, the things that we built and me uh, explaining them all. And I just want to say now uh, a very big thank you uh, to any of you that have uh, stayed tuned uh, watching my Lovely World videos for, for very long. I know that there are some of you uh, that have actually watched all 300 of my episodes. So if you have, I want to say thank you so much. And even if you've only just found my channel, uh, thanks for deciding to, to watch my videos anyway. I've had a lot of fun building everything I have in my Lovely World. And I look forward to having a lot more fun in the future building even more things. And I actually I want to say an extra special thank you to Lee Bear, who has been with me in pretty much every single video in my Lovely World. And uh, we always have so much fun together and he's helped me build pretty much everything I've shown you today. So thank you so much Lee Bear uh, for always being the best Minecraft helper I could ever want. <laughs> but sadly that's the end of this episode here and uh, the end of um uh, yeah, my tour of the uh, the fun land. Uh, in my next episode, I'll be going back to normal Lovely World videos of my normal length. <laughs> and so, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll be leaving that episode as a link in the description. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!